today. We'll be talking about Communicate for Mom, the new enterprise reporting solution. In this video, we'll be focusing more on the dashboards uh, to discuss the illumination, transparency, analytics, and um, business intelligence that you can get from Communicate for Mom. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to launch Communicate for Mom. Communicate for Mom uses the MS SQL Server database, so it's an enterprise solution. We'll go ahead and connect in. The very first screen you see every time you connect in will always be the dashboards. Let me go ahead and give you a little quick overview. Across the top here you'll see various different reporting sections. We're not going to talk about those today. We're going to be focusing more on the dashboard and we'll probably discuss those in future videos and or webinars. One of the other things I wanted to show you is that you have the ability to be able to change the theme. Uh, by default, Communicate for Mom is an Office 2010 blue, but there are 44 different themes here that you can choose from. For example, you can look at Office, uh, excuse me, Windows 7 Classic, Valentine's, Office 2013 light gray, but by default, we use the Office 2010 blue for Communicate for Mom. Uh, there are 44 different themes here. You're welcome to explore and pick a theme that's suitable for you. All right, so let's get back to the dashboards. All right, so as you can see on the main screen here, you have a variety of different dashboards that show you different met metrics about your business. The very first one we want to talk about is the sales at a glance, is the one right here. Uh, you pick the particular date range uh, or period that you want to take a look at. Currently, we're looking at this month, but you can just click on last month or last week very easily. Over here, we have different chart types that you can select to view the data in different ways. This little indicator here, or this button, is called Y to Y, year to year. So if you're looking at for, for uh, sales this month, you can actually click on Y to Y, and it'll look at sales for the same period last year. So you can get a side-by-side -side comparison about the performance of this year's sales for that period versus last year's sales for that period. Right mouse click on any of the windows. If there are additional options for this uh, dashboard, you'll be able to click on the option. In this case, we want to go to configure. You have the ability to be able to configure the dashboard. By default, we're looking at order date and sales. We can actually change that to revenue. You know, sales being product sales, revenue being product sales plus sales tax plus ship fee collected plus any other revenue items. We apply. You see how those numbers change? We'll go back to our standard graph and chart. Let's go ahead and configure another option. We're going to switch to U.S. states, and we're going to pick uh, New Jersey. So what we're looking at are uh, orders, revenue, sold, and shipped to New Jersey. There you go. Very simple. And to change that back, you just click on Reset. It goes back to the default values and Reapply. Now, the other dashboards are very similar. This one here deals with customer returns. We'll look at any date period you wish to look at, you know, this year, this week, last week. It will show you what the returns are during that period. This is the shipping summary. The shipping summary will show you the number of orders and packages, meaning the number of orders that were shipped and how many packages for those orders. The source of sales, which is this dashboard down here, uh, looks at your source of sales, where sales are originated, and, ex and ex expresses the number of sales for that particular period. These dashboards over here, we'll start off with that, which is the order status. Uh, it deals with the actual order statuses that you have in MOM. Uh, so listed here would be the number of orders for each of these statuses. We have the buyers, which looks at repeat versus new buyers. So you can see how that, that uh, if, if you're running a particular campaign where you're trying to get new buyers or repeat buyers, this would be a good uh, a metric to look at. Average order value looks at repeat value versus new value. Drop ships, drop ship sales, and drop ship sip, shipments. And again, all you have to do is select a period that you wish to look at, and it's displayed here. Product flow deals with sales by item and unit, and units ordered and shipped. Your ship flow deals with ship methods and daily shipping summary. Your top customers, by default, is top 25. Uh, but you can set that to almost any number you wish. And you can look at percentages instead of actual numbers. And as I mentioned earlier, 
right mouse click, configure, and now you can set other options if you wish. Top inventory works the same way. Uh, this will be the top selling items for the last 30 days. Set it to whichever time period you want to look at and whichever top number of values you want to look. So in this case, we can set the top 30. There you go. Your top suppliers and your workflow tab. The workflow tab shows you number of orders taken during the period and number of shipments. So this pretty much concludes our overview of the dashboards. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I appreciate you guys taking the time to take a look at this. If you have any more questions and to learn more about Communicate from Mom, uh, please feel free to co contact Dytacomp at 800-858-3666 or email sales at dytacomp.com. Thank you very much for your time. Have a nice day, and we look forward to your business.